Hey guys, I'm back with another cartoon video. So let's just get into this. Today, we're talking about Droopy. You know, Droopy, the white dog with the red hair and the black ears and his famous catchphrase. You know what? I'm happy. Droopy was created by Tex Avery in 1943 for his series of MGM cartoons. Droopy's first cartoon was in 1943, Dumbhounded. The cartoon starred Droopy as a police star going after a recurring Tex Avery character, The Wolf. In 1946, he remade the cartoon as Northwest Hound Police, but I think that one's better. But Droopy wouldn't be named until his sixth cartoon, Senor Droopy. You know what? That makes me mad. I quickly talk about Droopy, Droopy's evolution. In his earlier short, his jaw was really big and it was a cream color. And his muzzle was a cream color too. He also ev later he evolved into a white muzzle with a cream colored jaw. But in some of his later cartoons, his muzzle became white and his jaw completely disappeared. But nowadays he got his jaw back and his muzzle became a cream color again. I also want to talk about his personality. Droopy's personality is he's a calm, cool, and collective dog, but he gets really excited when he gets something, like money. I'm happy. I want to talk about the directors for the Droopy cartoon. The very first Droopy cartoon not to be directed by Tex Avery was Kibiero Droopy, which was directed by Dick Levy. This was the only Droopy cartoon that he directed. The last Droopy cartoon to be directed by Tex Avery was Kibby was Deputy Droopy in 1955. This cartoon showed Droopy as a cowboy protecting a vault from two bad guys. Now, the very first Droopy cartoon to not be directed by Tex Avery and the first one to be produced in Cinemascope is Millionaire Droopy. But this one isn't really that important because it's literally a shot-to-shot -shot remake of a 1949 cartoon called Rags to Riches starring Droopy. The only difference is this one's in Cinemascope. And for some reason, they gave Tex Avery entirely credit for the director, even though he had literally nothing to do with the short. Very confusing. Now, Droopy would live on in the universe of Tom and Jerry because in the 90s, he was in the Tom and Jerry kids show, he would have his own segment in the show and with his son, Dripple. Droopy and Dripple. And that was so popular that they that he got his own spin-off series as him and Dripple as detective. Now, now in modern times, Droopy is a, is a regular character in the Tom and Jerry universe. You know all those direct-to-DVD Tom and Jerry movies? Yeah, Droopy's appeared in like eight of those. Sometimes he's a main character, sometimes he's a side character, sometimes he's even a cameo. But he's been in like at least eight or ten of them. But, yeah, that's what I want to say about Droopy. I know this video is a little shorter than usual, but I just really want to talk about Droopy because he's over been, I feel like he's over been overshadowed by Tom and Jerry. I'm not saying Tom and Jerry aren't a good duo. They're very good. In, in, but I think Droopy is really underrated, and I think he should get more love. So, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day.